game. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, they, they are going to drop down to the lowest bracket. EG is going to advance into the winner's bracket finals. Against Assassins. Against Assassins, yes, indeed. And we are going to go into MYM versus Supsun. So that is going to be our next match. Sorry, guys, that there was that problem there. I'm almost positive that um, Team Assassins defeated Team EG in the EG Masters Cup series in their one 2v2 game that they played. They did, as a matter of fact. So that will be an interesting rematch, a chance for Strife, Crow, and Axelab to try and redeem themselves here in this 2v2 league to prove that they are better. And this is nice as well because, you know what, I actually don't have to change uh, Team Subsons off of the overlay Yay. score, so anything that uh, <laughs> makes me lazier is okay by me. So, okay, just need to switch up the other ones. Oh, wait, no, actually I do, I just didn't hit update players before, but... Kauru and Paranoid. Complexity cat. Oh, no, no, what no, am no. I doing? Kauru. I mean, deselect. <laughs> deselect. He is the Terran. He does play Terran from time to time. So I'm told. He's been known to do that. Told he's pretty good at it, too. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> FX <laughs> Optic Zero is going to be his teammate. Kauru and Noodles. Who is this Noodles? You are not paranoid. <laughs> oh, actually, Kauru's saying something in the chat. He's probably saying Noodles is... Yeah. <laughs> Pythonus here. Okay, so Pythonus is going to be yeah. playing as the alias Noodles this time. They are playing over from Europe, so I guess they just don't have their own okay, North American so, accounts. So we'll make Pythonus and Dolly. So they are going to be, let's see, Pythonus is going to, well, Noodles is Dolly. That's going to be Zerg. That's going to be Yellow. Pythonus is going to be playing Terran. It will be red. That's going to make select light blue. ZTTP. Bam. Updating that player info. So good. <laughs> All right, so. This is the same race setup that we had from the last best of three, except now we have Paranoid. Oh, no. Sorry. Paranoid is what he was playing as yesterday. Pythonus and Dolly are playing instead of Druby and Cats. I wonder if they could just do the exact same thing that Druby and Cats did, and then they'll win. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's very <laughs> possible. We'll find out here. Oh, wait, yeah. this is the map Select and Off Zero actually beat Druby and Cats, so I'm already feeling like MIM has some catching up to do, even though they haven't even started. Dun-dun-dun! <laughs> So we can expect, uh, we've seen Subsuns play two different teams so far, and both times they've played a fairly turtle defensive game, so uh, walling off their ramps right away. As we can see, the Europeans are lagging at the moment. Sometimes that defensive style wins. Sometimes it doesn't. It, sometimes <laughs> it does not. Very correct. Not a guaranteed <laughs> guaranteed win. So Tarsonis Assault, this is one of those 2v2 maps that debuted in the beta, so it's just super old. <laughs> but I think it has actually been removed from the uh, the ladder pool since then. It's just um, it's just so old. <laughs> it's so old. So old. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. We're getting into the swing of things at the top right hand corner of Tarzona Salt. We have our light blue Terran player. Why is this so difficult for me right now? Just must still be early morning. That's okay. Whatever. Ignore me. That is Dignitas Select from Subsuns. He is our light blue Terran player. His teammate here, FX Optic Zero, playing from South Korea, is our pink Protoss player. Their opposition is this says Noodles, but that is in fact Dali. He is our yellow Zerg player. His teammate is our red Terran player. That is Pythonus. Yes, Kauru and Noodles are actually Pythonus and Dolly, yesterday they played as Kauru and Paranoid, and I actually had no idea that they were, uh, that was not their real names, but now I do, and they are from Team Meet Your Makers, I believe they were brought on as a 2v2 team, so uh, this is their chance to sort of, so that, yeah, sort of show their stuff. Yep, absolutely. Closer. And it looks like three of the four players are walling off. Of course, Zerg doesn't have that luxury. Uh, but everyone's taking a fairly defensive position for now. Noodles just going through a bunch more drones, so no sort of a seven pool, eight pool, anything along those lines. And apparently someone is uh, hammering directly outside of my door, so I hope that doesn't show up on the mic. I apologize if it does, guys. I live in a fairly large apartment down by. But gateway coming down now for Optic Zero. We also are going to have a barracks here momentarily. Unfortunately, old Pythonus, or I'm sorry, Dolly, did almost lose that drone there. Coming back to do some more harassment, though. Oh, 
paws. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's weird not seeing the actual yeah, paws yeah, thing pop yeah. up. The screen just kind of, like, washed out. PP. Yeah, Select did not say PP. Super unmanner. Aww. 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 Read PP. the rules. Whoa! Oh, it's oh! actually in the rules. I oh! thought it was just an issue of manner. But Artivan, our referee slash tournament organizer slash admin slash awesome, says, please type PP if you need to pause. Is he going to give him a red flag? A yellow card? <laughs> or something? A yellow card, definitely. So, what is the problem, Select? Because we actually don't know where Select is playing in the world right now. No, he could be in Bratislava, for all I know. I was going to say Bangladesh, so... All right, interesting. Yeah, I think Bratislava yes. is probably... <laughs> <laughs> more likely than Bangladesh, God. Yeah, that's probably true. Having sound issues... Oh, no. Now he won't be able to hear all the nukes that are pointed directly at him. <laughs> that would be awesome if you would type up, like, having sound issues, trouble hearing everyone over how awesome I am. <laughs> or uh, having sound issues, can't listen to the other teams. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> they are broadcasting both teams' uh, Skype conversations, as far as I know, so I hope you guys have been enjoying that asset, uh, that facet of this tournament as well. It is an asset and a facet. It is indeed. It, it doubles. Doubles is each. <laughs> All right. So we're just waiting on Select to get things started again. That's why uh, replays have a small <laughs> advantage right there because I always love, like, uh, when you're going through a replay and you didn't know they had any sort of lag problems or anything like that, and it's just like, bam, wall of text. Yeah, yeah. Well, the lag, the, I mean, the pause, wait. <laughs> Are pauses cut out of replays? Yeah, they must be. And then it's just it just spams you with all their messages. MYM Pythonus for casters. Indeed. Yes. And but, MYM Dali. But we knew that, and we were saying it. <laughs> I guess maybe they want us to add it in on the... Ah, uh, I see. That could be. That could be. There are character limits, so that's why we've been avoiding it. For example, I believe someone yesterday vile Spanishiwa. We could not fit his whole name. <laughs> right. That is correct. Yeah, I think P-Y-T-H-O-N-A-S. Well, we're very close to the 12 character limit. There we go. Everyone is ready. Nice little colors there of all the players popping up, and we are back in the action. Yeah, and just um, speaking about people's names and such right now, Optic Zero actually has a kind of a funny story from MLG Columbus. They... Basically, the entirety of FX Open showed up to MLG Columbus, and they had all their jerseys with their player <laughs> names on them, and Optic Zero suddenly became Pit K Zero because the t-shirt makers had no idea about like the combination of FXO and Optic Zero, so they just thought the, a typo was submitted, so they fixed it and became Pit K Zero instead of Optic Zero. I don't know. It was really funny, and <laughs> he got a lot of flack for it. And he's such like a shy guy. He's a very quiet yeah. guy, and so everyone's just making fun of him, calling him Pit K Zero. He's not even defending himself. He's like, I don't care. I'm just, just going to try and win. <laughs> I think it was Chef, too, as well, who said that... Uh, Chef is a, a man of my stature, I will say. And he said that uh, they ended up getting him a shirt that fit him, but it said Optic Zero on the back of oh. it or something like that at one point. But anyway... So here we go. Looks like MYM Pythonus is putting up a Marauder first. He is supply cap, needs to finish up this next supply depot. Decided to put down another barracks on the low ground. Uh, on the other hand, his Zerg. Ooh, looks like he's <laughs> another pause. Maybe that would be funny if he was just like, see, this is how it's done, select, unpause. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, we have no idea what Dolly's issue is right now. Do 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 do. Elevator music. Cue it. <laughs> do 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 do. Bum, bum, Problem. Bum, bum. Artivan trolling. Do 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 do. Problem. Do, do, bum, Hit bum, point bars. Bum, bum. Turn it on. Da, 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 Just turn da, da, da. it on. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so Noodles and Kauru, aka Pythonus and Dolly, or Dolly and Pythonus respectively. Everyone's ready. So it looks like an unpause is imminent. There we go. Ling's already headed down the ramp over towards Select and Optic Zero. Indeed he do. So here we go. Hopefully that is the end of the pause shenanigans for the rest of this set. And uh, Chester Cat trying to say hello to us once again. But that's quite all right. Optic Zero is on that second gas again. He is going to a little bit quicker second gateway. I don't know if he's going to follow this up with Stargate play once again. Unfortunately, he did lose to a pretty good size rush in the previous game, and look at this. Uh, MYM Pythonus is actually running up with SCVs in addition to his bio units. Going to make a bunker, it appears, down on the low ground. Use this Overlord for vision. Use that bunker for its extended range to start picking away at these uh, structures here on the high ground. Very, very cool play. 
yeah, there's one sentry and one zealot out here for a force field. Uh, eventually, there's actually a second sentry now as well, but force field's not going to matter much when you've got these range units on the low ground. Uh, oh, so he is going to lose the marine, though, so force field did actually end up making a difference, but now he cannot use them in the future to actually pin the units out after the gateway gets destroyed. Right. So that was kind of a gamble just to kill one marine. Uh, definitely could have been more useful later on. We'll just have to see if Optic Zero is going to even lose the Zealot. Oh, that last shell hit the sentry instead of the Zealot. Could have gotten that kill, but uh, Marauder tanking tons of damage right now. He should probably just back off, pop in that bunker now. It's yeah, and absolutely. they can get to work on that gateway. Ooh, they do manage to pick off one Zealot, though. There's a couple of sentries here on the high ground, but um, those sentries, of course, accumulate more effectively over time. Oh, let's get those. They've got a couple of those units. And, but yeah, those Marauders, those Heart Marauders, the very least, just jump into the bunker um, and range all the other structures, although this what he does look like it's about ready to fall. Nice little more shield there, but the Marauders are ranged can do a little bit too much damage. Just a bunch of sentries up for Optic Zero. You're putting down two more gateways, three more gateways. This is going to be a total of five weeks and almost like done. Notice this is a 2v1 right now because Select is so busy making close Banshees right now. He's trying to just counterattacking here soon. Actually, the first Banshee is coming towards um, the middle. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there. It's arriving at Optic Zero's base to try and pick off these Marauders and things. There's no anti-air here. So Banshee is going to be helpful. But all these links finally just smashing their way in with the help of those Marauders. These probes really don't have any chance to survive this attack. Um, the Banshee instead going to change gears and head over to Dolly base and land Dolly base probe trying to escape as many of them as they can possibly get out, which is not going to be very many as far as I can tell. Nope, absolutely. Those are going to fall down pretty quickly. Oh, it's Select denies the entry of his teammate probe. He is running them back into this bunker, so the bunker can get more kills, yes, but oh, now man. How four, are left? he has one supply that is <laughs> Not sure that that, Hero hidden probe somewhere, but uh, up to zero out of the game. And we saw this actually in one of those games against assassins as well. So Subson has a lot of making up to do. There is a cloaked banshee now attacking, but there's a spore crawler. There's actually two spore crawlers and a queen already prepared for MYM Dolly. And it looks like when the tank structure goes down, I don't think there's any other structures up. Oh, they're actually going to. Matter up, leave Optic Zero in the game. He's going to fight here against the Black. The wall is already broken. So I cannot be happy about this. I'm not going to be able to construct any additional structures that will really make a difference. And all these versions are straining themselves in. And that's a lot of best to be Yep, broader lane. Pretty good combo. And then Barrett, uh, Bunker is actually going to go down. Fighting with the top is going to burn down. And the GG and the G from Subsun. They actually drop a game pretty quickly, nine-minute game there on Tarsonis Assault after that was the map that they had defeated Assassins on in a pretty long sort of macro game. Yeah, so absolutely. Got to be a little disheartening there for Subsun.